Finally tonight, a small school near Hollywood getting rave reviews for its work on blockbusters and for the artists who make movie magic. Developed just five years ago, Exceptional Minds is training young adults with autism on digital effects and changing lives in the process. NBC's Erica Hill takes us there. The artists in this classroom are shattering stereotypes. No motion, it was the leave effect. And taking control of their future. Our whole goal is to get them employed. Exceptional Mind is a non-profit vocational school for young adults with autism, focused on graphic and visual arts. Why visual effects? and animation why is this such a good fit they're all different so every one of them is going to have a different fit but for the guys that we look for they're very visual they're also kind of obsessive at times the three-year program in digital effects trains students in several areas including rotoscoping painting up tiny details one frame at a time and title work jobs which require a hyper focused attention to detail Graduates have lent their skills to blockbusters like the most recent Hunger Games film, Avengers Age of Ultron, and Roadship. Eli Katz, a 2014 graduate, now works in the school studio. The client wants us to have the face looking clean without the snow. He walked me through a recent project for HBO's Game of Thrones. What's it like for you when you see your work? Oh, I feel thrilled. Because I would just, I, I just like to point out, oh, hey, there's my shot. There's also a strong focus on social skills and teamwork. This is what a filmmaker's duty is, uh, to uh, work together with others and to, uh, uh, know that real meaning of friendship by accomplish, accomplishing things together. Demand is high for both the program, there are at least three applicants for each slot, and for their work. This program has well exceeded my wildest expectations. We have uh, three of our young adults have moved out of their parents' homes and are working full-time. We are just totally blown away. Changing lives, as the program says, one frame at a time. Erica Hill, NBC News, Los Angeles. That'll do it for us on a Tuesday.